Hello everybody, my name is Mark. This is another video in my video series that I call The Profitable Investor. And in this video, I am going to show you how to open up your own paper trading account. Paper trading, in case you have never heard of that, is an account that you have with an online broker, Scott Trade or E-Trade, Ameritrade, Interactive Brokers, wherever you have an account. And it's not real money. It's a virtual account, a simulated account that you can buy or sell stocks or options or whatever you want to do. And you don't have to worry about losing your money because it's paper trading. So you can lose as much money as you want and it won't matter. Your wife won't divorce you. It's paper trading. And it's a very good thing if you are new to investing and you have very little experience. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, here I have Thinkorswim, which is owned by Ameritrade. It is the broker or the trading platform I use for my paper trading account. Uh, but I'm going to shut this down. And I'm going to start from scratch. And I'm going to go into Google search. Google. And then you have choices. There are several places or brokers that offer paper trading accounts. Scott Trade is one of them. Interactive Brokers is another. Option House is another. And I'm sure you could Google search that, but I'm going to put in Thinkorswim because that's the one that I use. So here we go, Thinkorswim. And uh, this is their main web page. You see in the upper right hand corner a green button that says open new account. But right next to it are the words in white letters, register, I'm sorry, register here for paper money. So I'm going to click on that and uh, wait a second for it to come up. Okay. Now, if you already have an account with Ameritrade, then it's very easy. You just put in your username and your password and verify account. But if not, then you hit the no button and then you fill out this information. You put your name, email, address, your phone number, uh, where do you live, and then you answer these questions about how much experience you have investing, and uh, then you choose a username and a password and confirm it and hit the continue and you are off and rolling. I'm not going to do all that because I already have a paper trading account up and rolling with Thinkorswim. So I am going to shut this down. And now this is the Thinkorswim icon. I am going to load Thinkorswim. And this is what you will download when you open your account. Double click on that. Do you want to allow this app to make changes? Yes, I do. It does that every time that I log on Thinkorswim. I don't know why. If I had to take a guess, I would say because it's always doing this installing updates and uh, always trying to improve and make things better. So we'll wait here for a minute while it's doing its little ins installation routine. And now I put in my username and then I put in my password like this and then I hit the login uh, before I do that if you see there's a little toggle button right there that I can toggle between live trading if I want to trade my real money or paper trading which is what I'm going to do so then I hit the login button and I wait for a couple of seconds while it goes through its initializing and everything and uh, then I will be off and rolling. Almost there. Okay, and here we go. This is Thinkorswim. This here is their main home page, and it kind of looks like CNBC. It shows all of the ticker symbols with the stock prices that go up or down, shows some news and stuff. I'm going to close this out, and we're going to go right into the main screen that you can buy or sell stocks so up there at the top in the middle you can see some icons and the trade one is the one where you go to if you want to buy or sell something so I'm gonna click on trade 
and then right here is where I put my ticker symbol so let's do Apple Apple okay now if I want to buy a stock then I would roll my little mouse over the ask. The bid is if I want to sell, the ask is if I want to buy. So let's buy some shares here. Uh, the market is closed right now, so the order will not go through until Monday. Today is a Friday as on the day I'm making this video. And down below you see the screen come up, the order screen and I can change it to shares or I can punch in the numbers manually but 100 shares is good buy 100 shares of stock you see in the upper left hand corner uh, corner how much money that I have that I can buy and sell and it's showing two hundred and six thousand dollars I started with two hundred thousand dollars and I have made some money since well let's buy 100 shares of Apple so in the lower right hand corner I hit the confirm and send and then it shows almost like a receipt it shows how much money I'm going to be spending which is thirteen thousand five hundred seventy two plus the nine dollar ninety five cent commission and then I hit the send and there you have it and so if I were to go to monitor and then you see right there is the order now if I wanted to cancel the order I go on the far right and I would hit cancel order which I'm gonna go ahead and do because I really don't want to use I don't want to buy the shares but if I wanted to buy the shares then I would just wait till Monday and it would buy the shares at that limit order of one hundred and thirty five dollars and seventy two but let's cancel this out now the order is canceled and now I can do whatever I want uh, so that's it ladies and gentlemen this is my paper trading account and you too can uh, get started and start your own paper trading account and if you're a beginner and you want to learn how to do this you've never invested before this is the way to go thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video